What is up guys, Mixo back with another video in today's video. Yeah, I want to talk about 10 tips that I want to give you guys to make your life easy on Ascension if you starting fresh and new. But first and foremost, I want to thank everyone who subbed to this channel. Like, oh, holy moly, we already about 400 subs. And yeah, I, I remember the, the video where I really couldn't believe that I hit over 100 subs. But yeah, we right? about 400 like come on that's that's insane guys i i don't know what to say like yeah okay thank you very much okay arigato spasiba dankeschön and 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 so on but let's jump right into the video <laughs> Number one, guys, choose your room right. If you're new to Ascension and you're a complete new player, all right, just a simple play on Area 52 because Area 52 is the free pick server. So that means you can free pick every skill that you want. You can combine it. You can test things out. You can make your own build. You can learn which build is actually the best performance one. So yeah, on the seasonal server, on the LR server, you have kind of random skills where you get every two levels. So you don't have a, a real choice to make a build, but you learn everything on Area 52. So yeah, just start on Area 52 and then you good to go to make a new hero on alarm and play there if you want to number two if you okay guys first and foremost don't make these mistakes i've made for about two months like i really did this mistake okay and i'm not sure right because i didn't read it well yeah because maybe i'm uh, dumb as fuck but okay don't make this mistake all right if you buy a book for example the book of ascension on the dp shop all right and you want to level a new tune, don't buy a new one, all right? You don't have to. You got this book in your vanity item store. So you just simple press on vanity, then you just simple go on known vanities, and yeah, then look for a book of ascension and press on deliver item. This only works for your server where you bought the book and send it to the tune of. So if you want to start a new tune, yeah, don't buy a new book you just simply go to the vanity and deliver it, it to you. Number three, sell your random enchants in the auction house, guys. So first and foremost, I want to tell you what random enchants actually are. Random enchants makes your build that you have stronger. It can completely, completely change your playstyle and gameplay and your complete build and the damage you make and yeah, stuff like this. This one is random enchants. If you are on high risk, okay, you can get dungeon kind of items from trash mobs and most of of those items got random enchants on it some of them are green random enchants some of them are blue random enchants some even are e epic and some are even legendary so basically what you will do then this is your next step don't sell this one to the vendor actually there are some random enchants that are not really worth to sell it in the auction house then you can sell it to the vendor but there are some good ones you can put it in the auction house that means yes you just simply go to the auction house and don't put the name of the item you just simply put the name of the random enchants and then yes simple you're just gonna sell it for a good amount of gold and that's how the most of the player on essential are going to make their gold yeah but care guys this only can work with rare items and epic items you can only sell those in the auction house because nobody can extract green items number four use the architect builds guys if you're completely new to ascension you don't have a clue or something how to play and how to make a good build use the architect builds just simply go to the level 70 builds for example if you're in area 52 and type in here your random enchants that you want to use and look for the specific build that you want to play and yes then you just simply choose this build in the architect it will explain everything that you want to know maybe which random enchants you have to use and which skill are the best for for this build and i'm pretty 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 sure that you will when time comes you will change this build and make the best possible way to play for yourself and uh, yes and then this is how you learn to make a build number five extract random enchants to get random enchants for your collection you have to extract it from the item 
that means you have to go to a mystic enchant altar that looks like a purple glowing thingy you can find it somewhere in okrama or in Stormwind, or even in Shadrath sometimes, and uh, yes. And then you just simply drag, an, for example, an epic item into this, and then you just simply reforge it until you get a level up, and you will receive a Mystic Extract, only one per level. That means you can extract one random enchant out from an item, but carefully, after you extract one item, it will destroy itself, but you will have the random enchants in your collections number six spend your orbs if you don't need them this one is also our gold making method guide so basically you just go to the pvp vendor and you buy some trinkets out from the pvp vendor for like 50 silver and then you go to a mystic enchanting altar and drag it into this and enchant it with a random enchant that will cost some gold in the auction house so if you want to make fast gold i will recommend you to do this method you will receive some good gold out of this and um, yeah and there are some quite few methods where you can farm orbs actually you can do pve you can do pvp you will reward it with orbs every day everywhere number seven when someone asks in the word chat he wants to buy donation points that means okay and i got this question often simple nobody can trade donation points okay that means if someone is looking for 50 donation points you just go and ask him what he wants then you buy it from the dp and trade him that specific item but yes you can't trade donations points number eight everything in the dp shop can buffed in the auction house too. There is a lot of conversation about, okay, Ascension is a pay to win server, but clearly it's not looking like um, usually pay to win server. I mean, you can buy everything from the DP shop. You can buy it in the auction house too. That means you just simply go farm gold and you have the same item, same gear, appearance and stuff like that if you want to. So you don't have to spend real money for the DP to progress faster something i mean yeah if you want to spend like if you knew and you spent like for the book i think it's okay it's a good investment i mean you got the book forever and uh, but you can buy it from the auction house too so it's not a real game breaking thing where you get more strength or more attack power or just better gear for buying stuff like from the dp shop it's just appearance and tabards and mounts and yeah, that's it, that's all. Number nine, add-ons and how to get them. So we are on a 3.3.5 progression server. That means Wrath of the Lich King. And that means we just have to Google 3.3.5 add-ons and we can simply download it and drag it into our add-ons folder so we can play with it. So basically every add-on that you want to have on Ascension, you just look for the name and just type in 3.3.5 add-on and then you just simply download it and drag it into the add-on folder. And yeah, you got this for then in your game. Number 10, high risk farming. A big content that Ascension deliver is high risk farming. That means you go out to the outdoor world and you have your high risk mode on. That means a trash mob out in the world can drop dungeon kind of loot or even raid kind of loot. And there is some big content into this, but I can do another video about Hyrux farming specific. Before you but go out in the world and try to farm gear or try to farm, I don't know, epics to sell it in the auction house, beware. If you have high risk mode on, you can lose gear. That means if another player with high risk on comes into the outdoor and he kills you, you're gonna lose gear. To prevent this from happening, you have to go to the Fell Commutation Station. You can find this in Shatrat on the Aldor platform or the Scryer platform. It's simple, a green lighting 
thingy that you go into this click on that and then you just simple start to commutate every slot that you have to prevent losing your gear that you have on you will lose instead of your gear then your gold then you have to be carefully that you have enough gold to lose on the enemy otherwise you will lose your gear and a small and quick tip for you guys just buy some pvp trinkets from the pvp vendor if you're gonna die you're gonna lose those instead so yeah that's it with the video guys this was 10 quick tips for beginners that are new to ascension i hope i could help you somehow and if you enjoyed it let me know if it was up and a like on this video thank you very much for watching and yeah i i think i have to uh, say this quick i'm not going to upload another video this year because i'm moving out from this apartment to a next apartment and i have to wait for my internet connection and stuff like that but yeah we're gonna see maybe i can upload somehow somewhere a new video but if we're not gonna see us happy christmas happy new year for all of you and i hope you have a wonderful start in the new year guys have a wonderful and blessed day have a wonderful and blessed night bye bye guys